Hello, welcome back to BattleTech. Let's put Medusa. Uh, yes. A uh, bit of a different one today. Um, I'm going to call this one the Lost Mission. Uh, the reason being that um, I have recorded this mission while I was actually playing it, um, but then the game crashed uh, after the mission had completed um, and uh, I had to redo the mission, um, which I did, largely with the same outcome, uh, so not to worry there. Um, but I'm having to re-record the audio over the top um, because when I reloaded the game it went back to the uh, Iron Man save which was at the start of this mission. So this is a uh, battle um, against pirates um, and uh, it didn't offer much either in the way of money or salvage. So. Okay, let's do this. So here we go. Um, just trying to sort my screen out here. Yeah, so we've got um, got a biome, lots of forest here, and um, plenty of spore patches. Um, I'm just going to move the mechs up. I'm going to try and avoid these spore patches because although they give you a uh, uh, a defensive boost, so a penalty to hit you. Um, anything that does hit you causes a, a huge amount of damage. Think about where to put Decker. Just up front. Get a I've signal. And the uh, the game is on. Now, as before, we're in good defensive positions and we can't Holding see any enemies yet, so uh, I'm going to reserve to see if anybody else pops out of the woodwork. Definitely a light mech. Uh, that one moves very quickly. Reserve again. And again, down to one. And if there's nothing else here, I've got a choice of two targets. Uh, one in forest, uh, one not in forest, um, but probably has moved quite a long way. So I'm going to move up here, see what else. We've got three targets now. I'm going to use um, sensor lock to get early I've visibility on what this is. We have a 1B commando. Um, and I should be able to get some shots on here with um, long range missiles and the like. Just looking for a decent shots, but. Um, this light mech is, uh, has yeah. moved quite away, only on 40%, but then again, that means 4 out of every 10 missiles are likely to hit, so it's going to cause him some problems. Go. go on, Glitch. Coordinates received. Uh -huh. There we go. Let it rain. Hey. Everywhere you go, always take the weather with you. Right, this is the first video doubting of our um, blackjack. Now, controversial choice of weaponry okay. here. The large uh, laser is uh, derided as being relatively weak in the um, in the game. Um, most people would prefer heavier weaponry. Um, I'm not quite finished with the um, the design of this blackjack, but the uh, the large lasers are mounted in the torso is giving them much better protection than the autocannons, um, and they have bonus accuracy, meaning when we give them to Spicy here um, uh, as a trainer mech, uh, they give bonus accuracy to hit. Um, meaning that she she can do some good work um, to mechs, and they cause significant point damage. Um, so if they hit the right location, particularly if you can use precise shot um, and target mechs from behind uh, and the centre torso and side torsos, um, they can chew through armour like nothing else. So I'm thinking of maybe putting in a third large laser uh, in future. Here I've spotted a fourth mech down in the pool, 
uh, off to the right hand side and uh, Darius has told us <coughs> conveniently that the enemy reinforcements have come in so we have that dreaded situation in the game which a lot of uh, new players complain about where suddenly one lance of mechs, our lance, is faced with two lances of enemy mechs uh, closing in on their position and uh, very soon it becomes it, it becomes very easy uh, certainly in later skull missions where they're not light mechs to become overwhelmed by the number of um, guns facing you um, and you have to have mechs that can um, focus fire on particular threats and take them out incredibly quickly um, otherwise you will get just drowned in enemy weapon fire um, so what I'm going to do here as a response to the um, the mechs coming up from the right hand side um, is to make use of our mobility um, and I'm going to swing um, a number of our mechs um, backwards uh, and round anti-clockwise around the map um, which will delay our engagement with the mechs in the water below us um, and allow us to focus our attention on these mechs up on the plateau um, and what I'm thinking is that um, once that has happened I'll be left with the um, elevated ground which gives me bonuses to hit and the ability to withdraw from the edge of the cliff line um, if my mech has taken too much damage. So here I'm just pulling back um, with the blackjack. The large lasers have decent range on them. We've got 50-50 shots on uh, the light mechs. So this should be a decent game. Oh dear. Well at least it's one evasion pick out one. Come on glitch, you can save this. So here again, moving back and anti-clockwise away from the me the uh, reinforcements on the right hand side. But still keeping decent shots on the um, no enemy on the cliff top. You can see that they've got um, weakened armor as well. There's the left arm. Want some more, huh? Right, uh, the spider is still under repair, so we've got Decker in, uh, in the Locust. Um, I've just popped a third machine gun in the Locust, um, just to give it a little bit extra close range punch, but broadly speaking, aye, aye. this is not a very good mech to be piloting. Um, but it's quite handy to have somebody in sensor lock with sensor lock on the map, um, and to do some melee. Um, but it's hampered in the woodland because it can't build up sufficient evasion pips to uh, be really protected from um, from shots. You see there at maximum move he could only generate a minus 40 to hit. We just get a bit lucky here with the uh, the enemy not not making connections on these shots. Standing by. So Medusa is piloting the Centurion. Um, the Centurion's got a, a two learn 10 and a twin medium laser build, um, which is all right. Um, in some ways, I'd prefer it to be a pure um, LRM machine, uh, so it's got a decent range on it and I don't have to keep compromising on where I put the machine. But it's got significantly heavy armor at the moment, so it can tank quite a lot of the shots. Although unlike the traditional Centurion builds where the main weaponry is in the right arm, uh, in this build the main weaponry is in the left torso. So I have to keep reminding myself to torso twist to keep the right arm um, facing the enemy. Um, which is not natural to me because I'd normally be moving the Centurion to keep the left arm towards the enemy, um, which is its shield arm. I mean, it's literal shield, and it has a shield attached to the arm. Right. Here we go, we start to see some of the benefits of having the large lasers. Um, and this build runs completely cool, even in this jungle biome. Um, you'll see that Spicy you? is not generating any heat, really, from her mech, so she can carry on sustained long-range laser bombardment without pause. And that 
give her a significant advantage over other matches as the game goes on. Yeah. So we've uh, destroyed one of the four mechs up on the plateau, and um, I'm carrying on my anti-clockwise movement with the Centurion to support the Locust. Um, I'm feeling relatively confident because the mechs that we've got up here are all extremely light, not just um, I'm taking the shot. Uh, just the monitor end of medium, but um, very much commandos and locusts and the like. Um, Orders. So I've taken out the Jenna, which was the, predominantly the um, uh, the main threat up here. The Commando 2D variant, this one. Um, with the SRM packs has the most punch next. I copy. So we're going to try and um, cause him some difficulties. There we go. Target's taken a critical so the Locust here doing some decent work, but um, you've got to be careful using the Locust for melee because if you haven't moved far enough, um, you won't have built up sufficient evasion pips to be able to avoid weapon fire coming in. And um, even though I've up armoured this locust, it's not—it's uh, still not particularly uh, protected. So he's doing the same thing with his locust, yeah. um, but this particular variant he's got doesn't have the machine guns on. Orders. So I could just retaliate with a melee attack here. putting my weight into it. And, you know, as you can see, they, they don't resist counter melee very well, even from a 50-ton uh, like the Centurion. So we're starting to get some significant fire coming in now from the reinforcements, um, and I'm a bit concerned okay. about um, the Vindicator, orders. because although it is um, a 45-ton mech, its armor load is not quite as significant. Um, as the Centurion. So you can see that the enemy has strung out here. We've got a spider that we've identified. But we're okay. still trying to take out one enemy at a time. Um, there we go, there's another one. Enemy mech destroyed. So focusing fire is um, one of the two main uh, tactics you, to use against multiple lances. The second one, of course, being maneuvering um, and what I'm trying to do when I'm maneuvering first of all is to move my entire lance in general away from one of the units and towards the other one um, but sometimes I will choose one of my lances one of my lance mates to um, take the weapon fire from the reinforcements and it's usually the one that has the best um, armor or defense capability at the time. Um, <laughs> but then my survivability will uh, be very much based on uh, being able to rotate the mechs so that not only their individual armor pieces, but also the mechs um, in, in a rotation take damage and we spread it across the entire lance. Um, not just allowing the enemy to focus on one um, one of our aye, aye. mechs and their pilots because that's the way that you get pilots killed and is uh, one of your mechs will get something knocked off, typically a leg you'll fall over and then all of the enemies will focus fire on that one um, and with cold shots they've got very little chance of uh, getting away with it so I'm going to carry on rotating anti-clockwise here and um, continuing to focus on the mechs on the, uh, on the plateau. Lots of invasion pips here, so um, you know we should be avoiding a lot of these LRM barrages coming in from the indirect fire. Oh, no. Twin large lasers, 50-50 hits. I'm wondering if there's anything better down the hill. Well, I'll find a sweet, a sweet spot here I've seen to remember in the forest. Engaging. Jump jet. 
So here the blackjack's not been damaged yet, and the Vindicator's been taking some pummelim, so I thought of moving the blackjack forward to take Bloody some Jack. damage um, on behalf of the Lance. Um, I'm hoping if I push her up front and get closer to these mechs, um, maybe start doing some damage on them, then they Any could uh, return fire on her, um, rather than continuing to focus on uh, any of the other mechs. So the low percentage hits um, of for those in the um, yellow patches of spores are very much in evidence there. Um, and with multi shot, I'm just gonna, you know, give one of these low percentages a bit of a go here. So this is uh, just have a look at the uh, choices. So the Jenna is probably no my problem. target of choice. Chuck some loads over there. Get rid of alarm. And that one misses. But I don't mind that because had it hit, it would have caused bonus damage and that would have caused the enemy uh, short drop ball. So we've got PPC return fire. It's probably another light mech, so Panther would be my bet because it's taking that mech some time to reach us. So the locust here, with its machine guns, if the enemy's got armor, seconds open, the machine guns are good crit weapons, so this is called crit seeking. Not successful that time, but um, if you're hitting compartments where there's no surface armor left, then um, machine guns have an increased chance of causing critical damage to internal components. And if you're fighting a, uh, an ammo carrying mech, um, and you can hit it in the ammo location, then you've got a good chance of um, seriously mucking it up. So this commando is proving to be a, a trifle resistant to my attentions, but I'm hoping that uh, a full alpha strike here from the Centurion... One less target. ...is just going to clear it out. Right, real mishmash of weapons coming in from over there. Um, that's definitely a more serious threat. I heard auto cannon fire. There was an LRM, so I'm assuming it's going to be um, a shadow hawk at this moment. Waiting on you, Commander. But having a look to make sure we know what's uh, what's what. You know, the armor's okay at the moment, but um, the right arm, which is where the PPC is. Um, needs to be uh, protected. So I'm just having a think about where to. Um, how many enemies ought to be able to see her compared to the ease of her shots, compared to making sure that they are not able to uh, focus too much on the right arm. Yeah, this isn't proving to be easy to get shots on these guys. Yeah, Shadowhawk. I mean, the, the armor here, they've only got a quarter armor. So as much as a second lance looks like a, uh, a terrible prospect, um, we should be able to start getting critical hits very early when facing these um, this second reinforcing lance. Because they're all universally in bad shape, I think. So sticking to the forest here gives us uh, good cover, and these are some good shots I now into the 75s. And there goes the uh, medium laser. That looked like a critical hit. Still got the uh, 50 mil auto. Whoa! What was that? It was something big and purple. Good to okay. go. So, the mechs up top on the plateau have been uh, dealt with. So, what I can do now is maybe flank with um, Decker here. There's a path down the mountain aye, a bit aye. further back. It's going to take me a few rounds to get round there, but um, in the meantime, I, I could use sensor lock if I wanted to, um, just to give me a bit of extra chance Sensors to hit some on. of these guys. Yeah. 
So I don't like um, nice try. glitch getting hit this hard. Oh, definitely bad. Okay, that was bad. Waiting for orders. So the uh, the centurion is now out of position, which isn't good, and um, something that was definitely a problem in my positioning in this game. Um, so I have to move very quickly forwards, uh, both to get his weapons to bear, but also to share out the armour uh, on the Centurion, because I want to be encouraging the enemy to shoot at the Centurion, because um, he's got better armour protection than any of my enemies. Which is one thing I don't like about um, playing with just long range missiles. First of all, it's dull, as I've mentioned in the previous uh, video. But also, the armour on the LRM Max is not brought not to the battle. Pounding, so, if the enemy is focusing on you know, the Spotter Max or a brawler or a tank, um, you, aren't, you don't have much option to um, swap them around. I'd rather make sure everyone in my lance has the opportunity to uh, take enemy fire um, and uh, to use their armor to best ability. So you can see me here twisting the Vindicator to make sure her left arm um, is uh, facing the enemy. Affirmative. I make a misplay here and twist her too far so I end up having to um, Put her in guard mode because she's got nobody in her firing arc. I'm here. It's just a, a misplay. I'm continuing to pull my mechs backwards away from the reinforcing lance. Um, they're proving difficult to hit because at least a half of them, the lighter mechs are sticking to the spore patch. Now you can see there that you know one large laser in the whole left torso disappears, it's vaporized. The spore patch giving me bonus damage. Receiving you. So I can keep I can get vision on the max at the back if I want to, or I can carry on motoring around in the off chance that um, I'll be able to come I'm down the road uh, and flank them from behind. I get the feeling I seem to remember not being able to do that in the end, but um, we'll see how it pans out. I've got a sensor lock. Yeah, I mean, the benefit of having guard, bulwark, and forest yeah, means the 60% like damage that. reduction is uh, is very welcome. Ow. Ready for so Glitch is taking more than a fair share of punishment here. So I want to be uh, bringing the Centurion more to the forefront. Same with the um, Blackjack. Now I think when I replayed this mission I didn't get that hit hit. <laughs> but almost exactly the same scenario, same map, same um, starting points, the uh, reinforcing lance was a little bit different, they had a Wolverine instead of Shadow Hawk, um, but I, I tried to make all of the same moves as far as possible, um, which means rotating anti-clockwise, um, leaving the Vindicator and the Blackjack to defend the lower ground, oh excuse me, it's been a tiring weekend. And um, 
moving the Centurion and the uh, Locust up onto the plateau. I was amazed how similar it was, you know, even even seven or eight turns in, we were in a very similar situation, um, albeit without the headshot. There we go, people are starting to shoot the Centurion, which is pleasing to see. Yes, Commander. It just takes the pressure off the Vindicator a little bit. Confirmed. So here I can now get visibility around the back. Got a Carrying lock. on with sense lock while I'm out of uh, shooting range. Yeah, come on. Have a go at the Centurion. Minimal damage on that hit. Yep. Right. Because it's Medusa, he doesn't have Bulwark, so we can't get the bonus for uh, being in cover. So I really need to be moving him as much as I can to get his bonus evasion pips from sure footed. If he's going to be uh, tanking the shots. I realise with ultra thin armour, almost. Anything on top of it is going to cause some real problems. So, um, making free use of um, precision shots here, as opposed to vigilance, because it's more important to get rid of the enemy quickly Good to go. when you are facing eight mechs to four, as opposed to um, going defensive, which will just allow them to uh, find the right position to attack. Some good hits here, not not too much in the way of return for it, unfortunately. I'm here. So these are much better shots on the uh, Shadow Hall, but it's, he's a stick now. He's got nothing. Left. The spicy gets another kill. Target pacified. Right. Now the blackjack's getting into the fray with her armor being useful Commander. as well. On my way. Decker going for a walk along the beach. Very pleasant. Yeah, this Panther's uh, PPC is got a sensor lock. has been causing me trouble for the whole game. So it's important that we uh, focus on that to try and take it out. Commander. What's helpful about the Panthers is that they don't have uh, superlative movement and evasion, so uh, of the two mechs here they're going to be the easiest ones to uh, take out without uh, having to melee them. So in an effort to uh, knock the PPC off. I could go for the right arm, of course, but um, the torso would do probably better because you'll get rid of two component areas at once rather than just the one. I'm quite getting the results I want to on some of these crits. Can he make it in? Waiting for orders. So, I could come in here for a shot. I will go through the spore patch if I do that, which is a risk with Locust. But it will be firing into his back. Being lighter and armed as it is with just machine guns, the Locust doesn't actually carry the threat that the other mechs do. There isn't really a way of telling Ducker to avoid the patch, as far as I'm aware. I can't put any waypoints. Or if I can, I'm not quite sure how. We'll just uh, work on that. 
Reporting critical hit. Back armor. And hope he doesn't turn around and punch us. Yeah, it's Decker. Right, so now the uh, Centurion is tanking these hits. Won't do as good a job with Medusa at the helm as he would with Behemoth oh, no. because um, of the lack of bulwark. It's good to go. Um, but once I've taken down the Panther and both of these guys are looking really weak, um, this should go our way in the end. Affirmative. N not if you keep missing with the Arctic cannon. I'm here. Come on, Spicy, show them how it's done. For an alpha not like that. Good to go. Yeah, I'm still trying to get the evasion pips with Matusa. This should be good. Decker can... Oh. No, he's still shooting at me. Decker can he keep working on the... Uh, the weak side of this mech here. Working from the Roger. Targeting for physical attack. Oh, Scored a critical heat hit. Sinks, which is uh, a bonus, I suppose. Yeah, still pummeling the Centurion. It does carry a hell of a lot of armor for a mech of its size. Yes, Commander. I think I might replace the um, two medium lasers with another LRM-10 though, and um, extra ton of ammo. I won't need as many heat sinks, I don't think. Um, I think you'll probably do with um, not as many jump jets because you probably won't need many in order to get a good uh, missiling position. Move order received. Checking how many hit points we have left in the component area. Try again. Well, we were lucky. You've got the ammo explosion in the left torso. It's took the left torso and the arm off. Knock the mech down. Leaves him very vulnerable now to the follow up attacks. Try and take his other leg off, or we'll finally get that right arm off. Looks like I'm going for the Firing double leg. As it is, no, you put it through the middle of the uh, of the mech. So we're down to the last one now. With great relief. Hope this is enough. We've got a good shot on the leg there. Um, only one hit, but then again, if we can knock the legs off a fast-moving mech like um, the Jenna, then much of its defensive potential is removed. Standing by. And uh, melee is a, an, an excellent, and support weapons too, are an excellent the way of um, removing melee, uh, removing evasion pips. And causing enemies difficulties. Target taken a critical hit. Good to go. So the Centurion finally its armor has been bettered. Um, On it. We can see here that its left left arm, left torso are vulnerable, but okay. I'm feeling a bit overconfident here. And um, don't really turn the mech away go. from the enemy, which I should have done. All weapons are go. Well, that's half of the enemy. Critical hit. 
Out of the way. All out of long range missiles, Commander. It's knocked over. Another pilot injury. Can't have many okay. um, hits left in him. So I could go for the leg or for the torso. Okay. I'll choose the leg again. There we go. In the, uh, in the end, the center torso is taken out through torso hit. Mission successful. And that's it. So this is where the uh, game crashed after the loot allocation. So I'm going to sign off now. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.